Hi guys. Um, so this is not my usual video. Uh, as you know, I usually have a fly tan channel, but what I'm going to try and do here is explain a little bit of why uh, coronavirus can be killed by washing your hands. So uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm a veterinary surgeon and have been for 17 years now. Um, so uh, you and I are built up of cells, billions of them, and essentially each one of those is a little bit of a factory. And your genes, your DNA, tells those what to make. Um, so a virus, a virus is a whole lot simpler thing than that. It doesn't have the mechanisms to make what it wants itself, so it has to go in and hijack your cells and make them produce more copies of itself. So how does it do that? It has to get its genes, its DNA, RNA, it's a little bit complicated, but it has to get that into your cells. Uh, so essentially, a virus is the genes, DNA, whatever you want to call it, inside like an envelope or uh, a shell as such. So this will dock onto one of your cells and it will inject uh, its own genes into your cells and then those uh, will hijack your mechanisms. It'll tell your cells to produce more copies of itself and when it's done it kills your cell. So how does cleaning your hands with soap uh, kill viruses, coronavirus? So this outer membrane, this uh, envelope that it's in, is made up of lipids or fats. So if you've ever uh, done the dishes and put something like uh, you know detergent into it you'll see that it all splits so if you uh, take a good soap and wash your hands for long enough to get it in contact with this lining of the virus then bang it bursts the the envelope and this the dangerous bit the DNA is ineffective if it cannot actually have a mechanism of getting into the cells in your body so that's the science I suppose. So how do you wash your hands? Uh, so I'm wearing gloves here for a purpose. So if you take, uh, I suppose what this has been prompted is, you know, I have kids and I've been watching them trying to get them used to cleaning their hands properly during this and you know, you send them off and people say wash your hands for 20 seconds. But time is one thing, effectiveness of how you do it is another. And you know, off they go, and they come back five, ten seconds later, and they go, "I've washed my hands." So, uh, if you take your soap, we'll put it. If you're using red uh, paint here for the purpose of this, you know, off they go. They do this here, and they come back, and they go, "Look, I've cleaned my hands, but it's not." So, how do we get it all around? So, you get your soap on. Through the palms of your hands and your fingers on this side, then you start to get in between your fingers. You think that's fairly comprehensive, but look, you still have a lot of your hand not covered. So then you have to get in between on the backs of your hands. Swap that over and do it this way as well. And you see we're getting more and more cover as we go along here, but still there are areas that aren't done. So like our thumbs. And it's important to go between the two. And then we have the tips of our fingers, which you can see are still not done. So interlock. And then put your fingers like this into the palms of your hand and swap over. That'll get it in around the nails and then your wrists. So as you can see it takes quite a while to do but we have a fairly decent coverage. But even not that you can still see that there's bits that perhaps don't have as good a coverage other. Um, and when you're done washing your hands, you know, a lot of times when I wash my hands, I go shake them into the into the uh, sink. That'll create an aerosol, so try not to do that as well. So, um, hopefully this is of some use to some people. 
Now, I'm not asking you to subscribe to my channel, I don't want you to do that. Um, but hopefully this is of some use uh, to some people and say, uh, especially with kids, uh, to just try and get them to effectively and long enough wash their, their hands. Uh, so if everybody's sensible, uh, wash your hands as often as you can and hopefully we'll get through this. Thanks for watching.